what's up guys, I can see bringing you another beginner Cinema 4D tutorial and in this tutorial I'll just be going over the very basics of rendering and how to render a movie out of Cinema 4D and it is actually probably one of the most commonly asked questions for beginners to Cinema 4D is actually I've made my animation now so how do I render it and get it into a movie so I'm just going to show you that I've already made, I've got a pre-made scene here nothing special just a text with a floor and a camera it's just an example like so when we're rendering, dealing with render and rendering a movie these are the main things, these buttons up here is the main thing that we're going to be looking at so to start with we're going to click on the third button from the left, if we click on that we get the render settings and basically what this is, this is everything to do with your render settings you can see we've got loads of stuff here but I'm just going to show you the basics of just how to get a, a mover to upload to YouTube or or whatnot. so the first thing is we're going to do is if we click on save and then we choose the destination of where to save it will just call this render test save it on the desktop and then under format we're gonna go down to quick time mover options animation you can choose whichever format best works for you I'll usually choose H.264 or Apple Intermediate Codex or animation. Either one of them is good. We'll choose that for now. Um, H.264. Compressor. Most of the time you, you always want to have it up to best. And then click OK. So the save bit's done now. And then what we're going to do is go to Output and then under the preset tab here I'm going to go down to film and video and we get a bunch of presets here you can either use HD 720p or HD 1080p I just like to go with 720p because that's what all my videos run in and then also what you want to do is within the frame range select all frames you can bump the resolution up if you wish but that's up to you general you want to make sure it's on full render and anti-aliasing this is more for if you're dealing with reflections so if you're dealing with reflections instead of geometry bump it up to best and then the minimum level one by one maximum level two by two now this can be a bit of a render hog so if you've got enough powerful machine to do it then you can bump that up but if you're not running a powerful machine then one by one or two by two is usually what what's good to use and options options you don't really need to to play around with that's a bit more advanced stuff so yeah I like to double check everything's everything's right everything's where it's supposed to be saved to because it can be a lengthy process rendering stuff from Cinema 4D so I always like to double check that everything's in order and ready to go so it looks like we're all good here so if we just exit out of that now and then if we click the middle button second from the left this orange this orange tab here and that will bring up the render and it will start to render and you'll see and you can monitor the the render as it's going along frame by frame it can take a while depending on the sort of animation that you're doing the speed of your computer and all that good stuff so yeah and that's pretty much it for today how to render a movie out of Cinema 4D don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment in the comment box below Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. See you later.